I guess I'm going to go with Oprah style per Mr. Oppenheimer's suggestion. What do we got here? Okay. Here we go. Yes. I'll go here and then you got to hustle. Now. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, hello, gentlemen. It's uh, nice nice to see you here. Um, uh, Dan and Alan, um, my, my question is actually for, for Mr. Oppenheimer. Um, this, since this year is the 30th anniversary of the Never Ending Story, and of course you've done the voice of you did the voice of Falcor and I believe the Rockbiter and Gamork. Do you have any recollections or interesting stories regarding the recording sessions of that? Or well, I can tell you the um, 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 what's the name the director uh, uh, Wolfgang Peterson. Wolfgang Peterson. Yeah, I read for him in Los Angeles, and then we recorded it in Munich. So they had to see they'd already filmed it. And so I was really doing an ADR to the, to the Luck Dragon. So I went to Munich, and um, we stood in the studios. I don't remember the name of the studio either, but anyway, it was in Munich. And uh, we spent the afternoon recording this thing. And he said, uh, you know, that's fine. Very good. Thank you very much. I said, uh, I want to do it again. And the reason was it was technically perfect without any heart. So he said, well, we don't have time today. You come back tomorrow. I said, oh, I'll be here. So we did it a second time, and he said, that's perfect. That's one. And that's the one you saw, so that Falcor is not only ADR matching, but he has that sweet heart that you see. So I'm about to leave. He says, oh, good to have you. Could you do the rock biter? I said, what? well, show me. So he showed me. I said, yeah, sure, I can do the rock buyer, yeah. He said, oh, it's very good, thank you. Could you do Gamork? I said, I said, boy, you're getting a lot for the money here. <laughs> so I did Gamork, which is only a wolf growl or whatever. And he said, one more thing. There's a few lines that, uh, to wrap it up as a narrator. <laughs> I said, yes, Wolfgang, I will do that. So I did all four of those. And enjoyed my time in Munich. I took a trip to Salzburg and had a wonderful time. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, can mm -hmm. I just say that th this really speaks to Alan's dedication to his to his craft and the, the kind of actor he is. Many of us, if the director would satisfied with the first take, would walk away. Mm. But Alan wasn't satisfied with his performance, and he insisted on doing it again. And that speaks a lot uh, to your professionalism. Well, thank it really you. does. I think. Uh, I think, Dan, and you, you can bear this out, I think a lot of directors just, well, okay, let's move on. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. You know, it's Wednesday. We wanted it last week. Well, we got it now. But I, I will not be satisfied. I have also requested a second and third take, and it was not as good as the first take, and I acknowledge that. They printed the first take. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're following your advice. Thank you. <laughs> um, speaking of many takes, um, doing Transformers, I don't know if you remember. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you do. Wally Burr. Oh. Uh, our director, many of you know uh, Wally, and have even met Wally at these conventions. Wally was a real perfectionist, and he would go take after take after take after take until he got exactly what he wanted. And the problem was, he would study the storyboards, which are like little comic books uh, that show the action. He would study that before the night before. And while he was studying the action, so he would know that Megatron was 50 feet away from so-and-so, or this bomb went off over here, and, and, and what was happening, he was also hearing the voices in his head. And if you did not give him those voices exactly as he heard them in his head, you were not moving on. I have seen actors, competent professional actors, reduced to puddles of jello <laughs> under Wally's direction. And I've told Wally this too, and he said, I wanted to get what I needed. And he did, and he yes. did. I, that was I just a had dead to throw on that imitation. In. Thank you, for, thank you very much. I had, we Wally directed a lot of stuff. We did. Uh, did you did you do any GI Joes? I think I guess. Yeah, I we did. It, we yeah. did GI Joes. Uh, he directed Jim. Um, Wally directed a lot of the shows of that of that period. And did a you know spectacular job. I was watching some of the Transformers um, episodes before I came over here. They were really good. They were really good. The writing was good. The animation was good, and the and the voices were adequate. <laughs> <I thought. laughs> so, 